everybody, this is John with BranchHighGuitar.com. Today we're going to do a lesson on the seminal Beatles classic, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. This is another song that I learned way, way, way early on in my guitar days. Um, and this song was uh, pretty amazing in their career after they just pretty much gave up playing live because they couldn't hear themselves because, you know, too many chicks are screaming all the time. They decided just to kind of turn to the studio and they pretty much blew everybody's mind again and again and again and this pretty much started it all. So, um, anyway, it's pretty much a lesson here in dominant seventh bar chords. So, uh, pretty much just going to move that shape all the way around. There's only a few that we've got, but uh, we'll start here with the intro. We get a little bit of a lead as well. So, um, the chords are just going to be A7. So that's going to be our dominant 7 bar chord, which is we're barring across the 5th fret with our index finger. And then we're going to put our ring finger here at the 7th fret on the 5th string. And then our middle finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string. To review, a major bar chord would have our pinky here also at the 7th fret of the 4th string. We're going to remove that and that's what's going to give us the 7th note here in this chord. So we have A7. Then we're going to have a C7, so we're just going to take that same shape, move it up to the 8th fret. Then we're going to finish here with G7 here at the 3rd fret. And that's the key of this song, so we're definitely going to be anchoring here a lot. Um, so the intro, pretty much we have two measures here on A7, one measure on C7, and then a stop on G7. So we get... Pretty simple. Um, the lead that goes over that starts here pretty much off the A minor pentatonic scale. We have the ninth fret here at the on the third string, eighth fret on the second string, and tenth fret on the second string. And you really want to kind of do pretty heavy vibrato, like really, really heavy attack, and uh, just kind of be as aggressive as you can be, you know. So starts off with the band coming in with the with the core, and then the lead on top of that goes. And then you have, again, and then a third time, those same three notes there, and then you're going to go up to the eighth fret on the first string, kind of bend it up, and then the tenth fret on the first string, and then shift down a whole step to the eighth fret on the second string, and then the sixth fret on the second string, back to the eighth fret, and then finish here at the seventh fret on the third string. So that last phrase is... And this, is, this note here is happening when you have the stop on the G7 chord. So. And that's going to kick off the verse here. So again, we're going back to that Dama 7 bar chord. We have G7. Then it's going to go up to A7. Then C7. And then back, back down to G7. So, and the pattern that you're going to do is you're going to play uh, two notes on the low string by itself, like, and then you're going to kind of chunk on the chord uh, up top. So you do that progression twice. So you have G7, A7, C7, G7, and do all that again. to A7, up to C7, back down to G7 for two measures, one, two, three, four, and there's C7, this has got all these horns going, and then F7, a new chord, it's the same shape, move all the way down to the first fret, so C7. C7. Then up to D7, which goes up to the 10th fret. Then one and two and stop. And then here's the chorus. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club, all that. So you have G7, B flat seven. That's up to the sixth fret. Again, it's just the same shape. It's a pretty easy song when you just think of it in terms of that. So G7, C7, 
and then G7, and then up to C7 for a whole measure, G7 for a whole measure. Same thing. And then A7, and stop on the D7. You come back in on C7, 8th fret, G7, 3rd fret, and then A7, and then you have these uh, uh, kind of staccato chords here going back and forth. You have C7, D7, G7, and then quick from a D7, change the fingering here to this shape, back to G7. So you have So that whole chord section, I'll play through it one more time continuously without me talking so much. Here we go, so starting on G7. the hits. Come back in on C7 like we did before. Down to F7. And C7. And D7. And stop. That's pretty much, they're singing this time, but that's where the horn section came in before. And then the last verse, just again, uh, G, A7, C7, G7. With the low notes first. Up to A7. C7. And G7 for two bars. Two, and then you're just going to hang on C7. Then you have these held chords like a regular C chord, D chord, and then an E chord. Because why not? The greatest chord that we can think of here for, for rock and roll, the E chord. Anyway, that's Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Thanks so much for checking out this video, uh, and thanks so much for your support, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.